Welcome back to thecrochetcrowd.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a ball winder. We are going to be giving one of these away because we're going to be celebrating our half million viewers or fans on Facebook. So all we just want to do is that when you have deflated balls like so, it's a partial ball, you can make the best little yarn cakes. All you're just going to do is take the yarn from the ball and just feed it through this eye here, and we're going to put it around the top and just there's an actual thing at the top so it goes through and we are just going to start spinning it. Okay, I'm going to spin it in the way that I'm most comfortable and all I'm just going to do is just spin, spin, spin and so I'm just taking the yarn and it allows for storage. Look how fast this is going. So it does it in a way so that when you take it off of the, the ball winder you can actually, um, it does, um, the inside actually kind of fills in I don't know what crocheters would do without one of these. So I'm doing this entire ball. Well, not all of it, just partial. See? Perfect. And this is a great little tool for when you have any kind of hanks or anything like that that require to be spun before you can actually um, use it. I'm almost done the entire ball, that whole thing that I did. Makes for a great storage. You can put it in your bins. And once you get down to the wire here, just, uh, you know, how it always gets in the end. It's just, uh, here we go. I want to do this entire ball live on camera, <laughs> of course. As, you, as again, once you get all the way to the bottom, it gets kind of... I just got to be gentle with it, holding it. But great tool. Honestly, before I had one of these, I didn't... You know, all my balls were deflated, and I think this is a great little tool. And that's the entire ball, but instead of the deflated ball, all we just want to do then is just pull it up like this. And I take the label, and I fold it so I know what this is later. And I just put it onto the top here, and when I go to slide off, I make sure the label's on the inside, just like so. And what happens is that the interior goes inward so that there's no tension left on this ball so when you go to hand wind balls you can see that it's nice and fluffy when you go to hand wind it you always do too much tension and then you ruin your yarn at the same time so this is what we're giving away today if you're interested see there's a link in the more information of this video for you to be able to access till next time i'm mikey on behalf of the crochet crowd.com